Hi, my name is Taube Nell and welcome to my channel. Taube means happiness, which is literally what my name means. Um, I, my parents had seven children, all of them girls, and then finally I was born. And uh, they were really, really happy to have a boy. And so uh, Taube means happiness. Everybody was really happy when I was born, which is cool. I know that uh, the main thing is building the back of the Unimog, but I'm, I'm, that's a big job. So I'm building it in a 3D program and it's slow going because it has to be done right. It's complicated, it's a big thing. And I really want to design it quite thoroughly before I start building it, just to avoid making mistakes and having to do things over and over because everything to do with the living quarters is expensive. It's big pieces of metal. It's it has to be done right. So I'm, I'm taking my time doing that and I hope you, you know, is okay with that. And uh, in the meantime, I'm, I'm upgrading the track, doing things on the track. These tracks are designed so uh, that uh, for, for, for troops, so that um, it, there's a problem here that there's a really loud alarm that goes off. Um, but that alarm, you know, it's really irritating. Whenever you start it, whatever you do, it just goes up and it's really noisy. So, I mean, because it's my track and I take care and I look at everything, I don't need that alarm. I'm gonna, I, I, I am gonna put a switch in so I can have it on if I want to, but I can also switch it off. So that's what I'm gonna do today. So let's, let's see what's underneath here. Wow, that's a huge amount of wires and shit. And I have no idea where it comes from. Oh, there it is. There we go. So I've soldered two wires onto there. Um, and I'll just wind it through. Ah, oh, crap, what am I doing? That's just completely wrong. Um, I hope it's that way around. Ah, the only thing I've ever found that works well for taking this off wires is my teeth. I don't know. So this, I'm, I'm not going to solder this, this is just too tight and so I'll just shrink. See, this is what I do all the time. I use a tool and then I instinctively, without thinking, put it somewhere and then afterwards I cannot find it. I could have used this to take that. But I'll probably have to look back on the camera to find out what I did with it. The only thing I've got is matches. Ideally, I need a little blowtorch thingy. But, you know. <gasps> that wasn't cool. That wasn't cool at all. Whoa. I don't deny there's some strange evolutionary process going on. But mankind won't be destroyed. Done. So let's just quickly see if it works. Whoa. Ah, there. Found it. It was sitting on it. Okay. Ha! Ha! Man, I actually can do stuff. There you go. So Ben from Mog Central told me about this trick. Bow! Brilliant. 
remember in one of my previous episodes I made this little tool to open like the battery box so there's all these little things that really you know delights me so the other day I, I went and I put my um wanted to get my water out see my water out here and uh, from this um, this nice little carry-on and then I had a look inside and this is what I saw is little thing where you click the little tool in and it just so happens that my tool clicks in perfectly in there absolutely perfectly isn't that amazing I just really love that I am designing a bracket for my new fuel tank that I bought. I bought a 200 litre fuel tank and I've got to mount it on the side of the Unimog and um, usually what people do is they mount it where the spare wheel is at the moment but I, re I really like having the spare wheel there. I have to carry two spare wheels so if I put two spare wheels at the back they hang off the back of the vehicle and then they lighten the front of the vehicle which means that if it gets really slippery or if I'm at an angle or whatever it's the front just doesn't have as, have as much grip for steering or, or for, for getting out of trouble as it should have so my tank luckily the length fits in just between the spare wheel and those little holders I think they hold oil um, I'm not sure what they hold. Anyway, those little things, it just fits in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make brackets. So basically what I did is I looked at the existing brackets that the Unimark has got and I pretty much copied it. So the existing tank is 160 liters. My tank is 200 liters. So I don't think, I mean, this, this thing's over-engineered completely. So, so I think this should work perfectly fine. It consists of two plates that are 10 mil each. It has this one, which is um, five mil steel. It's a, it's U U bracket steel that I'll then um, cut that 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 angle out of like that, which is which is exactly what it looks like on the on the mug at the moment. Um, inside underneath there, there's a little 10 mil piece of steel getting welded in with a hole that's where because uh, once the, the 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 fuel tanks in it gets a like a steel strap that goes around and straps it in and then you can tighten it and you and you put a rubber in between there so that's that's where the tightening goes in and it gets welded in underneath there that's where it gets welded in and then and that's five more this is the 10 more bracket that gets bolted to the to the frame so I can't at the moment this fuel tank is has got big bolts that go straight into the chassis of the Unimog but I, I, I'm not allowed you're not allowed to to change the chassis so I can't go and draw holes into the chassis in order to mount this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just bolt it with a plate behind the chassis and then two really strong bolts on, on the top and bottom of the chassis to just grip it this is the back plate and that's really strong that's 10 mil and then this is just a, a front plate that that's actually loose. I'm not going to weld it in even. That's just to to for the for the fuel tank to rest against. And that's pretty much it. It's a it's a really simple, really robust bracket. And and and, and uh, so I will cut this, and then I'll take it to uh, to my do to weld again because once again. I don't think I'm good enough to weld this. Plus it's 10 mil, my welder just can't handle 10 mil. And so he will weld this up perfectly and then um, I'll bolt it on and uh, I'll have my second fuel tank, which will give me 360 liters, which I think is okay. So at the moment I've, I'm doing some freelance editing for a local broadcaster, which is great, which is brings in the money that I can spend on this because I've, I've completely run out of money. Um, and uh, and my Patreon account is, is bringing in a tiny bit of money, but you know it's like really small. And that money is to be used solely on the truck. So um, I'm expecting my first little bit to come through, and 
then in my next episode I'll show you what I've bought with it which will be really exciting and so every time you you know contribute mute, uh, money on the patreon account you know you know that there's something on this track is gonna come is from you directly from your money that you've that you've paid and that I've bought with it and I'll show every time I buy something with the patreon money I'll show you guys what it is so at the moment I've got I think 89 uh, subscribers so if you could please just click the subscribe button it doesn't uh, require anything from you that it doesn't mean that you join a club or you have to contribute or pay or anything it just me give me numbers that YouTube use so when I hit a hundred subscribers I can then get a unique URL for my channel which is which is kind of would be nice so please go and click the subscribe button and get me that URL <laughs> and uh, you know do the other bits click the little bell it'll tell you if there's a new video give me a thumbs up if you like the video and thank you so much for watching my videos and underneath you, if you want to contribute to the channel there is a um, patreon account that you can click on and you know buy me a beer a week or whatever if you really are a incredibly generous person there's also a uh, Amazon shopping list there with big ticket items it's mainly the my recovery items so it's a recovery strap all of that kind of stuff they're really expensive if you really feel like it buy me something off there you know otherwise thanks for watching